Hi Cancer, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then if the feelings are mutual in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or if their heart is with someone else or if there is something else going on, some other issue. Then in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Alright Cancer, so let's see what's going on here. We have uh, the Five of Wands clarified by the Devil, we have uh, the Queen of Cups clarified by the Nine of Wands, uh, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or pretty much uh, any Zodiac sign. You know what Cancer, I'm just gonna be very upfront, very honest with you. There's nothing here for you. Okay, this person is probably somebody who's been around for a while. Uh, perhaps they hurt you in the past, maybe more than once, right? Uh, this person may have uh, like major issues, like anger management issues. They could be addicted to something. They could be drinking, uh, using, gambling, what have you. It's like this person is is not a happy camper, right? And there's always issues. There's always drama with this person. Right, and uh, perhaps they're just straining you along. You know, I think it's time for you to let it go, Cancer. In in the second spread, we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. I'm not gonna look at the potential. I can tell you that much for sure, right? But let's talk about this real, real quick. You know, whenever I see spreads like this, I ask myself a simple qu question, a very simple question: What do we not have here? And um, Cancer, what we don't have is love. We only have suffering, drama, conflict, addictions, people feeling miserable, left out in the cold. That's what we have here, Cancer. All right, uh, we do have you, uh, the Queen of Cups in the middle, that's you. You're clarified by the Nine of Wands. This is a card of a wounded warrior. So you've, uh, you've had your share of uh, bad things with this person, right? Speaking of the person, we do have the Five of Wands clarified by the Devil. The Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, right? Uh, but the devil could also be a part of uh, addictions or like a very toxic behavior. The five of ones that the devil is clarifying, it could be a part of drama, conflict, it could also be a part of struggle or all of the above that I just mentioned, right? They could be struggling with addictions but at the same time they could be always very dramatic and starting up fights. Right, uh, the five of uh, pentacles right next to the deck we, is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, feeling miserable, and I think that's the way you're probably feeling right now. You may still have a lot of feelings for this person. Perhaps if they're struggling with uh, things that you were always by their side, you were always supporting them, but it's never, it, it's not a happy end with this person. It's always drama. The two of swords on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of um, a crossroads, so I think you're facing crossroads as to do you want to you know, stay with this person or do you want to keep give them another chance or do you want to finally, you know, call it a day and then uh, leave, right? And uh, the Two of Swords could also be a card of somebody who says no more. I'm, I'm done, I'm closed off now. Alright, so again, I don't think there's anything here for you, Cancer. You may still have feelings for them, that's totally understandable, but uh, uh, the future is not bright with this individual. So yeah, I'm not going to spend any more time on this, let's move on. Spread number two is new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's the second spread, Cancer. Uh, this is new love coming towards you in the near future. Uh, we have uh, the King of Wands clarified by Strength, uh, we have the Ace of Cups, then we have Justice clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, the Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius, we also have Libra on the table. The very first card I came out is the King of Wands, I think that's the person <laughs> coming into your life, so it could be a fire sign, there is there Sagittarius. Uh, strength, by the way, clarifying the King of Wands uh, is one of the Leo major arcana cards, so it could be a Leo. But if they're not a fire sign, strength could be a card of loyalty, right? That's the um, often forgotten interpretation of the strength card. It is a card of loyalty. <laughs> All right, um, and if it's not a fire sign, then it could be somebody who is a leader, somebody who is easy to get up and go, you know, very active uh, type of a personality, right? And uh, they're coming in bearing gifts, right? Um, the page of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is how it all starts. It could start with some kind of paperwork, or they may literally give you something, 
right? The Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch. It could be tickets to a show, tickets to opera, circus, concert, uh, game, what have you. All right, uh, but with the Page of Pentacles, usually people come in and they have uh, serious intentions. And serious intentions is what I see throughout the, this whole reading, right? Um, yeah, uh, besides the Page of Pentacles, we have uh, the Ace of Cups right there in the middle. That's how they will feel towards you. It is genuine, authentic love with that Ace of Cups, right? If they tell you they love you on the third date, they mean it. <laughs> if they tell you they love you on the first date, still mean it. All right, um, Justice, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. These are really good cards, especially together, right? Justice could be a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice, you're finally getting what you deserve. Justice is karma, and the common misconception is that Justice, I mean, what, karma is always negative. No. Justice is a very complex, I mean, uh, karma is a very complex thing, but if we do strip it down to bare bones, yes, it's either negative or positive. And uh, with the cards we have on the table, definitely some good energy coming your way, positive energy, right? It's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a card of a rock-solid commitment to marriage. So you see how this person's got a lot of love for you with the Ace of Cups, but they're not just talking the talk, they're walking the walk with the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, Strength and Justice. Those are serious cards. All right? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles is a card of a rock-solid commitment to marriage. Justice could be an actual place where people get married, by the way, like a chapel or what have you. Yeah, this person is like a jack-of-all-trades, yeah? Um, very loving, loyal, right? And uh, they do want to get serious, and they will provide. The Ten of Pentacles is when people have everything they need. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you, uh, Cancer, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing October.